Today we're taking a look at the proper BDU trousers. Now these pants used to only come in two different versions, one with a button fly and one with a zipper fly. The button fly version came in lots of different cool colors as well as all the different camouflage patterns, while the zip fly model was only available in black and LAPD blue. Now I was just recently on Proper's website and they've just released a new version of these pants. These new pants are called the Proper Uniform BDUs and offer the color variety of the classic BDUs I have here with a zip fly. You can still get the classic button version if you'd like, but now you have other options as well. I just realized that I forgot to tell you something. You're probably wondering what BDU stands for. The acronym BDU is made by the military, of course, to stand for Battle Dress Uniform. These are what they call the combat uniforms assigned to U.S. military personnel from the 1980s to the early 2000s. These types of uniforms have since been supplanted or replaced in most branches of the U.S. Armed Forces, but some places you can still find them today. Now you know. Enjoy the rest of the video. Here I have the button fly variant in olive green with a 60% cotton, 40% polyester fabric. I also have the zipper fly version over here. This is the old one. It's 65% polyester, 35% cotton ripstop blend. And I believe, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure somewhere, maybe Amazon or even their website, you can get a 100% cotton version as well. The button fly over here isn't that bad actually. It's kind of like living in the 1800s if you dig that kind of thing, but it gets you get used to it after a while and it's not that big of an issue. So these pants over here come in a whole bunch of different colors and prints um, and also the new version that has this exact same style with the zipper fly instead. This over here is the old zipper fly version. These are only available in LAPD blue and black. So that's the old version. Now you can get all the colors and everything of this version over here with the zipper fly and actually for less money and we'll talk about that in a minute. These pants have nice large cargo pockets, adjustable waist tabs, reinforced knees and seat, and drawstring leg closures, all sewn to military specifications. These pants have six pockets in total, two very large cargo pockets, two front pockets, and then two back pockets with flaps that button down over. These pants feature button flap closures on the cargo pockets as well as the back pockets. These are of course to keep things from getting stolen or falling out. It has two layers right here. The second layer has the holes for the buttons. You just put your stuff in and then you can button it down to keep it from getting stolen or falling out. These pants of course feature reinforced knees and seat. Here's the knee area here. You can see that it is double layered and it is actually double layered. It's not just made to look like it. It actually is. We have two layers of fabric here on both knees. Then if you flip the pants over here on the seat in this area right here is reinforced as well. It's kind of a feature that you wouldn't necessarily pay attention to or you wouldn't be able to tell is there just by looking at it, but it is nice because it does help the pants last longer. These pants also feature drawstring leg closures. Now you know that if you've ever tried to tuck your pants into your boots or whatever to keep them from getting wet, it can be slightly challenging, of course, depending on the cut of the pants and whatnot, they might not want to get tucked in. So these pants, since they're made to military specifications, feature, of course, the drawstring leg closure. If you've ever seen pictures of guys in the military or law enforcement, you'll see that they have their pants a lot of times tucked into their boots and this is how they do it. You have these strings here and you just cinch it down to get it narrow and tucked in. Um, sometimes these can be a little bit of a pain. When I first got them, I really liked the idea and I still do, but sometimes it is a pain if these are just dangling and you're wearing your pants over your boots. So what I'll do sometimes is just kind of like tie in shoes, just tie a double bow and just do that to get the extra string out of the way and give it that clean look when it's over top the boot. So what are some things that I personally like about these pants? Well, they aren't perfect, but I cannot find anything 
wrong with them that I particularly hate, so that would make them near perfect. There's three main things that I like about these pants. Let's get into those. The first thing I like about these pants is the really big cargo pockets. Now, most cargo pants have reasonably sized pockets. However, these take cargo pocket to a whole next level. You can take a look here and see just how much I fit into one of these pockets. The second thing I like about these pants is the adjustable waist tab. Now, you do have to buy pretty close to your actual size, but if you need to make micro adjustments, like you're carrying more stuff in your pockets, um, then you can just cinch it up and tighten them, make them fit a little more secure that way. Another thing I really like about these pants are the attention to detail. These brackets here on the adjustable waist tab are made out of metal, not plastic, which is really nice. So you have this little metal thing and then you can just pull to adjust the waist. And I really appreciate that it's metal instead of plastic. Um, that way it just lasts longer. The third thing I really like about these pants is the large variety of colors and patterns that they come in. Now, it used to be, as I've previously mentioned here, that you could only get the zipper fly in two different colors. Well, you could get the button fly in a multitude of colors. Well, now they've kind of taken both of these pants and smashed them together so you get the colors and patterns from this and the zipper fly from this over here, which is really nice. Now, how your clothes fit is a personal preference. Some people like their clothes to fit differently than others. I personally like the way these fit pretty well, but some people might not like that there's a really large distance right here. And when you are wearing them, there is a little bit of extra in between your legs. So if you don't like those types of things, and you like your clothes to be tight fitting, then these probably aren't it. Also, the waist comes up pretty high depending on how you wear them. So that's another thing that some people might not like, but I don't mind. One other thing that people might not like, but I don't particularly mind, is with a lot of tactical pants like this, you have a lot of little bit of threads kind of hanging out. Um, sometimes you'll get them around the cargo pants and the crotch area and along the seams. They're not that big of a deal. You just go along with scissors and clip them off. But some people might not like that. I'm just throwing it out there so you can make the best decision based off of the information that you have. Personally, I don't mind it, but other people might. Now it's time to talk about the price. How much did these cost? Well, over here we have the first pair that I ever got. The original button fly style BDUs because I like olive green. I got them in olive green. And the price on these ranges from $29.99 to $39.99, just depending on when you buy them. So $30 to $40 over here. And then for the zipper fly, old zipper fly variant, there is a $29.99 to $39.99 as well. So again, around the $30 to $40 mark. So these range from $30 to $40 in price. That is great. But what is even better? is that the new version that takes both of these and smashes them together so you get the colors and variety from this with the zipper from this is only $25 people. I have not had a pair of these yet but for $25 on Proper's website that is quite the deal I would say getting all the different patterns and colors that I love from these with the zipper from this so would I recommend these? I would recommend these. Of course, it all depends on personal preference and how you like your clothes to fit, but I like these. I would recommend them. Not my favorite proper product, but we will be talking about that soon, so stay tuned for that. I have another pair of pants from them that I really like a lot. And yeah, I mean, if I was going to buy these again, knowing what I know now, I would spend the $25 and go get the ones that are kind of the uniform style that have the zipper. It's the same basic everything. Everything is the same. Still has the adjustable waist and all. Everything is the same and just has a zipper and you can get it in all the different colors and you can also pick between the 6535 and the 6040 blends. So whatever fabric blend you want and whatever color you want and you still get the features of the zipper with the colors of the other. So I would recommend if you're going to buy them that you would buy the new version that just came out or that I just discovered that came out. 
and skip these but if you want a pair of these you can still get them so you can go either direction all right guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you have not done so already please consider subscribing i make new videos every week that is it hope you're having an awesome day stay safe and we'll catch you on the next video